we just made it in time. We're like one of the last two people on board. Yeah. And also, it just started raining pretty hard. So we've split our time in Kuala Lumpur. Today we're heading to Penang. I was up at 2 a.m. editing vlogs and I thought, probably should look into how you do that. Yeah, didn't you book the, oh, I woke up this morning and Dane was like, mm, I think I booked the premium one and you get snacks. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh well, you get snacks, it's fine. So we're going on the KTM ETS train, I think, which was about 20 something US dollars. I think it takes about four hours. And we booked the premium service, which apparently is a bit quicker, and it was just happened to be leaving at the time that we were going. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's the plan for today. Down to who needs a gym when you <laughs> when you got this kind of workout? We've got about 30 minutes. Apparently, we're supposed to be here 30 minutes beforehand, so we've got to go and try and the K find the KTM area to check in. Almost went to the wrong one. It's not the KTM commuter. We're looking for that sign we want, the KTM Intercity. Fortunately, because I booked online, they printed the tickets for us and we didn't have to wait in like a 50 strong queue yeah. to try and buy tickets. And then it's back downstairs. So this place is like a bit of a maze. It's so enormous, but back downstairs so that we can check in and get on. Luckily, we left just enough time to make this all happen. Just to be even more confusing, when you go to Penang, you actually need to go to the Butterworth station. Then when we arrive at Butterworth, from what I understand, hopefully my research is right, there's a ferry terminal right there, and then we think we can take that quite easily across to Penang, which is an island, and then I think we'll probably just get an Uber or try and figure out how close our accommodation is, but you'll find out with us. feeling we might be going backwards though, which is not just not ideal for a four hour trip. <laughs> we didn't realize that when we booked the ticket, so I think the best piece of advice is don't book at either the front or the back of the carriage because you might be getting a bit car sick and heading in the wrong direction. <laughs> premium train which is I think it's about 20 ringgit more but it just leaves that better times and I can see it's like it's a super nice train and it's very easy to walk between all of the um, carriages as well I'm heading out I'm heading now to go and check out the food. Even though we get those snacks for free, it looks like you can buy all sorts of random little um, meals and sandwiches and um, drinks and stuff here. I think we're probably going to be able to survive with our, uh, with our crackers, our luxury crackers though. So just 
to ride that Butterworth. Oh god. It was about four hours to a dot, wasn't it? Yeah. Not um, too bad. Pretty painless. It has been raining a lot, so we're hoping it's not too bad out there now. So now we're going to catch the ferry? Yeah, we don't know anything about that, but we're going to try and figure it out. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cold at times, though, eh? Yeah, I'd say like bring a jumper. jumper. Yeah. Jumper and stuff. Um, most right. people have left. So Let's go. So four hours is a really long time not to eat though. As confident I was that we were just going to eat the little, the crackers, crackers and stuff. And we definitely got hungry. So we managed to get a nasi goreng and two coffees and that came to, I think it was 12 ringer. So I don't know, like three, three or four dollars for all of that. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to follow the crowd and hope that everybody just sort of guides us to, <laughs> to this ferry terminal. So we were just flying blind and taking a guess, but then we've come out the other side, down out to the street, and there's a ferry sign. So we're just gonna follow along this way and see where it takes us. Yes, a few times. It's great traveling with these things when you're like, just walking the streets though, right? We're well, gonna we're get so going much hate for not having backpacks. I know, we're not going to the gym and we're eating a lot of nasi lemak, so I figure this is gonna uh, counterbalance that. True. So we made it through. It's actually only about a 10 minute walk to get to the station. It's not far, uh, to the ferry terminal, sorry, from the station. It's just the amount of stairs that you have to go up and down. We bought our ferry tickets pretty quickly. It looks like the ferry is actually right there, which is why we're sort of quickly rushing. It only costs one dollar twenty or one twenty ringgit each. So it was like three ringgit, less than a dollar in total for us to get from from the mainland across to the ferry ter uh, through the ferry terminal on the other side on Penang. never seen this so clearly before you can see the sun there trying to come out behind those clouds and that dark line or that fog that you can see that's the rain like heading in our direction but you can like clearly see between this side that's all good and then that is just rolling towards us Dangerous just trying to find us an Uber. Where are we staying again? <laughs> Summer tree. There's lots of Ubers. <laughs> We made it. Zane's just got to unload our big bags from this tiny car. Hello. This is the room. Wow, it's actually really nice, babe. Sorry, how rude of me. I'm coming in filming and you're sorting out all the bags. This looks like a great spot. This place called Summer Tree Hotel, and from what we can tell, it's in a really good place. It's a really nice room. I think we're only spending about 27 or 25 US dollars per night. Um, I'll leave a link below if anybody wants to book this so you can come directly to it. That is how our night is ending. Today we've done every mode of transport I think possible. We've done walking, underground subway, 
overground subway, ferry, and an Uber. That's more than enough for one night. It's terribly rainy, it's uh, massive amounts of thunder and everything, so we're gonna call the vlog here. Tomorrow we're doing a, um, what's it called, a food tour? Food tour, yeah. food tour in Penang, which we're super excited about, so check back for that, and we will catch you in the comments. Bye.